Hello everybody and welcome to a non-gaming video, which means if you're from my game, my channel, you don't have to watch this, but it's, ha it's how to make a custom unfold thing from, uh, unfold icon for using Rain Meter. I'm using GIMP and you'll need an icon file for it, so I'm going to start up GIMP. I am going to make a HitFilm Express one, which is my editing software, so load up that. And you're going to start right away. You want to delete every layer. You want to scale layer. 150. Scale. Image canvas size. 800. By 200. Resize. And then put on your appropriate side. I am going to do. Another side. So if I place that there. Now the next step. You want to duplicate layer? Go there. Now you want to see. So you want the duplicate layer. You want to lock everything. You want to hide it quickly. So you have this. You want to get the paint tool. You want to have the paint tool. I'm gonna set threshold to maximum. Just turning the whole thing white. And as you can see, there's that slight. So I'm actually going to say so different I'm gonna try different methods just to see most of them will probably get a look like that so I'm just gonna go with this you want to show that layer grab your erasion tool your eraser tool you want to start erasing out and as you can see there it is so let's go from there to there hit that Boom, you can see. So this is how you can create your icon file. So you need the icon. Be and I am doing this for transparent. So you may not want a transparent file. So it's also a tutorial on how to do the transparent one. So it's two in one. So you can keep toggling item visibility on and off. And once you're happy with one, you do the next one. Preferably going back over it three or four times to completely clean it. So it's like one, two, three, four. Now I want to see, I've done that. And I probably want to go here. So like that. Let's go up here first. Boom. Just go straight down there. Straight down. Okay. And if in the case that your thing's erasing the lock layer, that's because you forgot to lock it. And if you can't paint, that's because you need to you need to make sure you're on the right layer. So if you don't know what layer you're on. Check which one. So I mostly so there, one more. Now I want to do the edge line. Go there. Go over, over, and over. I'm not going to bore you with this process because by now you should know how to do it. So I will see you in a second. When you're all done and also don't forget to just clean up that edge too so i'll see you in a second all right so now that we're back okay just straightening the picture now that we're back and you've cleaned up there are a few jagged edges but nevertheless it's relatively good you can delete this locked icon so do that boom nice clean icon now what you want to do with this icon you're done with it that's it for now then since I'm popping it out on this side like all these applications I'm gonna grab the text tool and before I even type the text I'm go before I'm gonna type the text I'm just actually 
Well, actually, there's going to be a text download. It's going to be firstly a download to a GitHub page, and also in the description for some of them. So you don't have to make all of them. Like Epic Games isn't normally there; it's been pre-made, and it will also give you the font, which is you need. You might have this already, but it's Roboto Roboto Light. And I'm going to increase the size. Maybe. Okay, definitely much bigger. And rubber on right. And so I want to have this is called hit film. So hit film. No, I don't need to add the express line. So now. Select the text, about all light, and just increase it till I'm happy. Don't know why that has a massive line there, but well, of course it vanishes. So hit film, select GIMP is very finicky sometimes. Go photo light. Just get rid of all these unnecessary stuff. Extend it to I'm at a happy size. I am going to keep the text in there. So then you want to grab the select tool. You want to relatively position this, and then this you want that to be positioned two little blocks away. You want to save it, so I'm just going to save it. Hit film, scroll express. I have a little just folder for these, and I have attempted to do it before, sort of fail. Let's replace that, and now that's done, you want to go export. You want to save this to your so I don't have a folder for it. But you, what you want to do is you want to go to the the rain meter section skins, and I just have a separate. I'm going to create a new folder. It's going to be called Hit Film. This is where I'm going to save it. Film's probably the best name for it. Nice and short. And you want to make sure it's saved as a .png, all export images, and export. Now I'll keep that open because then I can edit it. Then what you want to do, just check it's recording. Thankfully it is. You want to go to this. Hit film. So now what you want to do is you want to download the template from below. So I am going to copy the left, I am going to paste it in hit film, I'm going to edit it. So as you can may see, I did copy it off another thing, but you saw nothing. Okay, so image name, it's called hit film, hit film .png. App path. So you want to find where does your app go to? Hit film. I uh, looked at before most programs, program files. So for me, FX Home Hit Film Express. Yeah, Hit Film Express. So I'll copy this URL. And then in the ini, paste it, slash. And then you want to make sure you grab the exact name, including the .exe part to it. Save it. Now, now that you've done that, you wanna see. Open Rain Meter. So go manage. Now, in your folder, temp template. So it has not. 
the hip film. Now it's registered. You might also want to rename. Whoopsie. That was a mistake. You might also just want to rename this to something other than temple to the left. So rename hit film I and I. Okay? Just refresh it. Hit film. Load. So sometimes you might get an error invalid maybe. So film. That's why, so you want to have this filled with something. Accidentally got rid of that. So there, there's my hip film. And I want to move it down there, so maybe 500? No. Or 50? You can play with these values yourself. Or 35. 30. 31. 30. Okay. For me, 430. And you can custom everything. So, as you can see, you can't really see that it's a terrible editing job, and it's nicely positioned. So, say you wanna you wanna move this text a bit closer. What you do? You hop in back into GIMP. You would move your text a bit closer. So, maybe I want in here. Save. Export to. Make sure you export to, not export as. Hit refresh. Boom. Slightly closer. So say, let me show you my desktop icons. This is def this is straight up the reason why I decided to choose this. But say I want to do anything. So the itch.io icon. Just grab it. And in the case that's a simple image, simple basic image, you can just you you'll be able to just grab it. So that's the end to this video. Hopefully it hasn't been too long. And and just make sure that you create. You might want to create this. If you want, I can create some icons if you want, if you're too lazy. I'll probably be too lazy to do that, but yeah. <laughs> but but remember to save it as a PNG, else it won't work. So, and then always, after you're done, always click on it. Make sure it works. So in this case, it looks like it does work. And it loads. Yeah, hit Film Express work. So you want to make sure you have that app bar. So I'm going to add like my games there. But for now, goodbye. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And see, see you tomorrow when I've been playing Minecraft. Bye.